Now again a shot that You see right now Zolo are taking a bit of a taking a, quite a thrashing now. Oh look at this up and down with a neck breaker. I could rather that Zolo holding a cover! Two. Oh, and look at that! Zolo that oh. missed again! And that was close! That was close! Nice face crusher there, and now oh, Zolo jumps back in with a heart attack. Was this get quite a close match? It certainly is! And still so far, the biggest shock is how well. Skywalker and Sabor have actually worked together, but look at this! There's a double team move by Zoloark and Reptile! But, you see there, Sabor from behind, but he gets a dragon screw. And now shot here. Well, oh, cover! Uh -huh. Is he Zoloark's dead? Go! Oh! Kick out there! They come in! No! What he he caught Reptile! Oh, backfire! Explode up! Backfire! Backfire, big time! Boom! And I think... Nicely done there! I oh, he's think done. Reptile oh, is out! I am the Jedi! You see right now, a single leg busted by Sebulba, a cover! Ref paying attention to the submission though! And Sebulba and Skywalker now! Back in control! Well, it looked like Reptile was holding control over Sabor with that. That's quickly stopped. Nicely done there. Skywalker now. Front of the corner. It's all like front of that corner. Nice shot there. What are the two things you don't want to see? And that's a corner. Oh! Nicely done there. And I'll check this out now. This is going to work. Again! Skywalker and Savorma showing... They've actually showed more double team moves than, than sort of like a Reptile have! Yeah. In this match. And that's the surprising part! Dragon screw that! And now try to get that! Oh wait a minute! Zolomark able to counter out of it! The only method you're gonna have to use in this sort of situation is counter, 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 counter. Well that's what's happening right now. Oh! Shot there! Right to Sebulba's head. And now wait a minute. Shot there now, look out. Oh! Sebulba there goes low. Reptile got a cover here. Two. Sebulba. And, oh wait, Skywalker kicking out. There's another cover, but Reptile immediately breaks it. It's going to be a counter fist. Snap man. See right now, picked up. Has, has oh, the, drop kick. Has the rest of the blood gone now? Yeah, I think it has. Good. Oh. Oh, Sebulba! Crap pick! That's gonna do it. There's a cover now! Two. And this time, cover's being focused on! Sebulba and Skywalker pick up the victory! Why do you sound surprised? Sebulba and Skywalker score the win of Reptile and Zoroark! And once again, I am amazed at how well Skywalker and Sebulba work together on that one! Yeah, you Say that. Well, that was the cockpit, and he went for the cover. Skywalker makes sure Zorak wouldn't get in. Alright, people, up next will be the 20 man rumble. Now, of course, just to go through it quickly, the rules two people will start in the ring. At any random time, the next individual will enter according to the number he drew. We know Randy Lee will be number 20. Elimination occurs on your phone over the top rope, both feet touch the floor until it gets to the final two, in which will become one fall to the finish. And the winner then will be the fourth individual in the TLC match at Mega Drive for the CXWI World Title. Wait a second, I noticed something. The, the rules didn't come up on the Titan Tron. Well, yeah, we're not too sure why they haven't came up, but anyway, people, we're now starting it off. And it sounds like Miss Montone has drawn number one. Oh, not a good choice. But then again, in Sebulba's case, a phenomenal choice. Of course, we go back to the Crash and Burn Rumble in which Sebulba won it from number one. 
And this is a shorter rumble, so... And by shorter, I don't just mean Miss Monto. Also <laughs> Bulba. Well, anyway... Missed Montone looking ready to go. Well, unless you consider yourself a short midget. Or a dwarf. Something like that, yeah. Or a pre up transsexual. Or a pre up transsexual dwarf. Or it is odd. Oh, ho, ho. Well, it, oh, one, of the members of, one of the members of the CPA, and well, judging by the lighting, I've got to assume that it's going to be SPO. Oh, this will be good. I gotta assume it's SBO who has drawn number two. Not the best number to draw, but then again, two and one, there's almost no difference. Well, there is no difference. It is SBO. And we're going back. We can have to. Once again, this is. Like, well, this is actually one of those. Um, one again, one of the things we have to talk about. Um, I'm now being told that both of the members of the CPA are in this one, as are the, both members of the new regime, as are both member, co members of the Brotherhood as are both members of the Star Pilots, from what I'm being told. But, in the case of the CPA, what condition is Vector in, mentally? Because, as far as we know, he is still in a depression. He is still in a pretty major depression. Of course, it follows what happened on the World Tour. Of course, the death of their longtime comrade, Charmy. Well, not as so much death, but murdered. Well, anyway, Miss Montone and SBO start things off. Well, these two have faced off in the past, which yeah. I can actually point out for you. But that's all I can point that, out. That well, they faced off during the World Tour, and well, it was hit, it was these two and Sonic at the um, Japan show, Night of Champions. Miss Montone would become the international champion. Not to mention Miss Montone once again. Just something to elaborate on him. A lot of the roster, Ten seconds. a lot of the, a lot of the fans seem to like him. A lot of the members of the roster seem to like him. People on the base absolutely despise him. Let's find out who's drawn number three. And here's Lucario. Oh, 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 oh. Business picked up. Well, this is an interesting. This will be an interesting one. We got two members of tag teams in here. I'll tell you why business picked up. Former world champion, one of the toughest individuals on the roster. Not to, mention, no shit. not to mention, currently, I believe Re Lucario still has the record for the longest raid of the world title. Oh, nice crossbody there, stopping that one. Here comes the Entrance defense. number four will be heading out. Is he right now? Wait a minute. Should I enter the match? Head just... scissors. Nah. Well, as far as we know, you'll not even enter. Is you already in the match? Oh, here comes one. Then Masters. What happened to the tag team champion? Look at it. Look at the Kamiya there, almost getting eliminated. Can I point something out? How did Ben Masters make his debut? Because Ben Masters, one half of the tag team champions, one half of the new regime, debuted in the Hong Kong show. In a which rumble. Was a, which was a, also a 20 man rumble. But, but to crown the new international champion, he entered number two. And kick the shit out of his now tag team partner, Phil Me. So. Oh, Miss Montone! Ben Masters, he's one of the individuals who despises Despises. Miss Montone, along with Phil Mean. So, I'm sure Ben Masters will have nothing more than to throw him out. Lucario also got it out! Holding on to the ropes! Lucario eliminated! Lucario first to go out! That's a bit of a shocker. And there goes Miss Montone. Ben Masters gets kind of what he wants. But anyway, Espio there. Espio's still in this one. He ended number two. We've well, only been a few minutes, and so... We're only been a few minutes in, and Ben Masters was number four. You see, now, if the next entrant, number five, were to be Phil Mean or Vector, then that would... That would spell bad news for the other person in question. So they got to pray, but it could be worse. Well, it certainly could be a hell of a lot worse. It oh. just got worse. Zinyak! Um. And you see, he's gone straight. He actually went straight for Ben Masters. Um. Of course, all the all the things I've said about the new regime being alongside Zinyak. We're now going to find out if that's true. 
I'm gonna have to go out on a limb here and say this. Go on. Oh, look at this now! Dan going right for Zinyak! Not gonna work. Trying to pick him up. Oh, well, Zinyak uh, ended number five, now here comes number six. And then must be. Who I, I. Who could it be? Well, we'll find out. It's the Wildcat! A man who has actually come he, out and said. He is a former. He's a former world champion as well. Of course, you beat him for the title. He's come out and actually defended me after I got attacked by Dasan. Uh, you clearly got a select moment. He never even came out. No, he defended my right about what I said about Dasan. Oh, okay then. He pretty much agreed. Oh, shot them! Everything I said. Well, I think right now it's a whole issue about the roster being against Zinyak and Dasan. But I don't oh, really think it bothers it. them. I don't think it bothers them that much. Head toss there. Well, the Wildcat entered this at number six. Which is quite a good position to enter the UK charts at. It's probably where the X Factor winner will end up. They normally end up around that area. Nice close line there. Yeah, that's true. See right up. T boat suplex there, and Ben Masters being tossed around like a rag doll by Zinyak. Oh, a shot there by Espio. Wildcat there with a the backslide. It's not going to count. It's no pinfalls. Yet at least. Make it to the final two. And it becomes one fall to the finish. Oh look at Zinyak. Oh! Drilled there with the um... Drilled there the brain busters. What a you see brain right there now and Ben Masters! Bye bye. Ben Masters eliminated. I think Zinyak's a favourite. Zinyak ended at number five. Wildcat ended at number six. SBO ended at number two. How good. How good is it? But SBO survived this far, this far. And the Wildcat now. A Wildcat just rolling back in. You see now. Face crusher from behind. And the Wildcat. Oh! Wildcat eliminated. Alright, so this should be this should be number seven coming out. It's Cat! Oh, oh, oh. Business picked up. Johnny Cat! He's going off the going off the SBO, but now he's gonna go for Zidyak! Is he now trying to push him out? That's a good strategy. Oh but didn't work, he gets head tossed. Espio kind of stuck in the middle in this situation. Well, you see Zinyak going right after Gat. Of course, Gat put the first loss onto Zinyak. So that was number seven. I will come number eight. And it's Leon Kennedy. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Leon Kennedy and uh oh. Tries to... Oh, wait a minute! Gat! Oh no! Sorry, Zinyak! Ow! What was got thrown out there? <coughs> See right now, look out! Oh! Jawbreaker! And having your jaw put up against Zinyak's massive head as he comes up bringing down all that force that is definitely going to break your jaw. Oh, wait a minute! Zinyak a Gat drop! Johnny Gat's on move! And now Gat's in trouble. Brain buster. And again, the brain buster. Leo Kennedy! Leo Kennedy eliminated! Leo Kennedy didn't survive that long. He was uh, mentioned number. He said he was entered number eight. Just came out. Yep. I lose track of numbers in this very easily. The only number I know is that Randy Lee will be number 20. 
that was drawn earlier tonight. 